So we're here driving in traffic and I never thought I'd be happy to be stuck in traffic, but other to show you how Autopilot Beta 2.0 is working, steering the car for me. And it's only gonna go up to 45. Let's just see if traffic goes up above 45. But as you can see, it's kind of maintaining the lane. Um, I don't know, I should probably speed up at about this point, but I just wanna use my autopilot. Nah. So there you go, it, it'll, it'll tell you to take over if you exceed the 45 miles an hour. But I am still on adaptive uh, cruise control and I'm going to set it up to 75. So it'll only allow you to go up to 75 miles an hour and um, you can adjust the following distance. And I'm not really quite sure, maybe we can test it right now what those numbers actually stand for, if it's actually like one car length or one whatever. So that's probably more like two car lengths. And I'll put it down to two and see if it adjusts. Let's go down to four. It doesn't seem to want to back off to the distance that it likes at four. But I, I found that four is probably the most comfortable, three or four is probably the most comfortable following distance for me because that's typically where I follow, you know, when I'm driving myself. So as you can see, it's kind of backing off slowly because um, we're not at the 75, uh, even even in pretty good traffic, uh, it's, it's pretty decent. You know, if, if it's pretty crowded, and you don't want people cutting you off all the time, maybe a three, but four is not bad, too. What they violated the law. Oh, went across the double line? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do that sometimes. Yeah, I do that on camera. Probably did Oh, pro probably did, you know. Um, we could shoot that to the cops. Well, but then I can also shoot that. The video I was shooting yesterday actually showed I was speeding. So, but but, but yeah, the first time I was speeding was because I was actually doing adaptive cruise control and I was following the guy in front of me so the cops should really give the ticket to the guy in front of me, not me. Yeah, oh yeah. You're because fine. I was just it's following, fault. right? Yeah, his fault. His fault. Not, his fault. Not mine. Do the videos. So I wanted to point out uh, one thing that I have noticed so far in the Tesla Model X uh, when you have dirty road water coming up, uh, the bottom of the windshield down here doesn't really clear. I've the Tesla service center and they said that that's a known issue. Basically, I found that what, what it looks like is when you're, when you're washing the windows, it doesn't look like you get enough fluid down on the bottom. So I think it'd probably be an easy enough fix to put a new nozzle in there so that you can get a little bit more fluid down here to kind of clean your windshield because that could be, that actually gets really annoying and distracting as you're driving. And, and also, um, they must have thought about it, but the right windshield actually wipes where the cameras are. It kind of cuts off right up here. So I was actually kind of wondering that if if it actually cleared the the lenses so that you can so that the autopilot all the adaptive cruise controls and everything can work even in snow rain ice whatever but it, it seems to uh, clear off the front three cameras pretty well so here we are using autopilot 2.0 beta again um, let's see if it has the Mario Kart yes what's that it's it's the Mario Kart um, they have a little rainbow track here. It's, it's a little Easter egg that Elon Musk and his team have put together. And, uh, it's it's kind of kind of dirty. <laughs> it's kind of cool at the same time. So we'll see how it does around this bend. So I'm not going to speed up. I know traffic is probably speeding up. <clears throat> so Look, it's Mom, turning, no hands. Turning itself. Yeah, so... 
it hasn't asked me to touch the steering wheel yet. We'll see if it does. See, it, it's still kind of veering a little bit <clears throat> in the lane. Uh, I test drove a version 1.0, and I don't believe it It kind of veered that much. It was... I'd give it an A there. Yeah. It's, see, it, it's definitely not getting enough fluid, especially when... You got enough fluid, you think? <clears throat> I hope so. Uh, it, it's not getting enough fluid, especially when you're going faster. I think that's the thing, is the fluid keeps getting pushed up so the fluid never gets to the bottom because of the aerodynamics and the wind is pushing the fluid up or something. I don't know. I'll let Elon and his team deal with that. They're the engineers. Oh, so it's showing you two cars up. Yeah. Yeah, so it, the, the sonar in there is, is showing two cars up. So if that, that car in front of that car starts slowing down and the car in front of us doesn't, we will still slow down to prevent that accident, even if this guy rear-ends the guy in front of him. We won't. And as you can see, the Mario Kart <coughs> road goes to the speed that you're going at, which is which is pretty cool. The thought that they put into that, I don't know how much thought or engineering they did to that, but someone coded it. Um, but I can have a conversation. I don't have to worry about driving or slowing down. So when the steering wheel turns, does that turn too? I don't think that one turns. This one does. And the, as far as I remember, the gas pedal does not go down when it accelerates, but the brake pedal goes down when it brakes. As long as it's not using, I, I don't know about the regenerative braking, so if it's actually using the brake brake, not the regenerative brake. So we got uh, about an hour until we get hit our first supercharger on this trip and we'll arrive with about 25% of our battery power and we're gonna have to charge for 25 minutes at Tremont. So these things that kind of go on and off on the side, is that the camera or something checking out the um, <laughs> no, uh, that, lane? No, that's, that's that? your sensors. Right. They're, um, they're, they're not the cameras, they're there's 12 ultra, I think the ultrasonic sensors, some sort of sensors. I can probably correct that hopefully in the video if I mess that one up. But basically it's sensing anything close to you. And if you're coming up next to a wall and it'll give you kind of the distance and you know, especially when you're parking or doing anything like that, it'll give you your distance in front of you or to the side of you when you're getting into your garage, which is very helpful. But basically, it, it kind of alerts you of what's around you. So I, I think it, it senses curbs and everything. So as you can see, it's this car is going to cut me off and autopilot correct it, which is awesome. So I, I actually haven't even had to put my hands on the steering wheel in the last couple miles. It hasn't prompted me to do anything, which is kind of interesting. But I thought it was like two minutes or something depending on your speed how the adaptive cruise control works so you can push it up a little bit and it'll go up one you can push it up a little bit more it'll go up if you push it up all the way it'll go five so it'll do it in increments of five so if you're at 73 and you go all the way down it'll take you down to 70 but you can go up I think it'll go up two no, it'll just go in increments of one and five. At least that's what it's doing for me. Whenever you're toggling that, that switch there, up and down. Obviously up is faster, down 